I'm a surgeon, and this is the tool of my trade. There have been surgeons since ancient times, and all of us have had to use something like this. Because to work inside the body, you need to open it up. I happen to be a brain surgeon, which makes things even tougher since the brain is completely encased in bone. But there is this exciting new technology being tested that would allow us to fix things deep inside the body, even inside the brain, without ever breaking the skin. Oh boy. Kimberly Splatter is about to undergo this experimental procedure called focused ultrasound. She has Parkinson's disease. This was Kimberly before the procedure. The shaking is actually caused not by the Parkinson's, but by the medication she must take to control it. It's like a catch-22. You have to have the medicine or you can't do anything. With the medicine, you're bouncing all over the place and you're wiggling. Kimberly is an avid runner and a biker. Parkinson's was robbing her of her passions in life and of other things as well. Probably one of my saddest moments was when I was at a wedding. My dad came up and asked me to dance with him, and I couldn't. I couldn't get up out of the chair. Parkinson's originates deep inside the brain, and one option for fixing it involves implanting electrodes at that spot connected to a battery. It's called deep brain stimulation, and it can be very effective, as we reported in this story on this violinist who played for his surgeons right on the operating table. But many patients, including Kimberly, dislike the idea of permanently installing wires and electrodes inside their brains. Then she learned she was a perfect candidate for focused ultrasound. I thought, I really think I need to do this. It was, it was the answer for me. We think of ultrasound as a way to see an unborn baby in the womb. But in this procedure, the beams of ultrasound energy are focused on a single spot. It has the same effect as a magnifying glass focusing beams of light. Where the beams come together, they generate enough heat to destroy the small part of the brain that causes Parkinson's. Okay, uh, we're gonna sonicate again. You're doing great, just keep on holding still. Kimberly is awake and giving feedback to the doctors during the four hour procedure. Okay, looks good so far. In part two of our story on Kimberly, the big moment. Okay, we're done. With Everyday Health, I'm Dr. Sanjay Gupta. Be well. Biking is my, my, my true love. I've been on many, many bike rides. Kimberly Spletter is back on her bike after an experimental procedure destroyed a tiny section of her brain. It's like a new lease on life being able to ride my bike again. This was Kimberly before the procedure. Parkinson's disease made biking, often even walking, impossible. The procedure that ended her symptoms is called focused ultrasound. The ultrasound waves pass harmlessly through the body, destroying only the tiny point they're focused on. Focused ultrasound is a big deal. It has the potential to revolutionize therapy. Dr. Neil Cassell is one of the developers of the technology. It's been called medicine's best kept secret. Okay, uh, we're gonna sonicate again. You're doing great, just keep on holding stuff. Kimberly was awake and talking to the doctors during the four hour procedure. Yeah. Okay, now we got the famous question for you. If your left side felt like this permanently, would you consider this as a success. And he said, if you stay where you are now, would you call the procedure a success? And I said, yes, absolutely. Okay, we're done. She looked at me and she says, get up, you can walk. And I thought, I can walk. I can walk. I knew I could. I got up and I walked. Immediately following the procedure, I walked to my room. It was a miracle. Okay. okay. I got there in the wheelchair, unable to walk, and immediately <laughs> following it, I walked to the room. Dr. Cassell sees uses for this technology far beyond treating Parkinson's. So today there are 58 medical conditions that are in various stages of research and development. Those conditions being studied range from brain diseases like Parkinson's and Alzheimer's to various cancers, high blood pressure, arthritis, even psychological illnesses like obsessive compulsive disorder and depression. Most of these studies are still in the very early stages, but as Kimberly demonstrates, it's a tool with great potential. It's like nothing was wrong with me. I can get on my bike and feel at one with the bike, just like it's always been. It's incredible. With Everyday Health, I'm Dr. Sanjay Gupta. Be well.